Welcome to DressWithStyle.com. We're in London today, near Savile Row, in the premises of Smith Woolens, and I'm very happy to introduce to you David Grant, who is the Managing Director of Smith Woolens. Thank you. Thank you for spending some time to discuss cloth with us. And we have a sampling of some cloth right here, which is the wool fleece uh, cloth, a 15 ounce uh, worsted cloth. And we'll talk a little bit about that later, but I want the guys to be able to focus already on the nice cloth that we'll be we're holding in our hands while we talk. Tell, tell me a little bit about uh, Smith Woolens, its history and your, your career with the company. We've known each other for years, but I'd like to hear the story. <laughs> well, one of the founding fathers of Smith Woolens was, was my father. Okay. Uh, he met um, Herbert Smith back in 1921. Uh, they were introduced by uh, uh, an accountant who was, uh, act of, who was acting for both of them. And, um, and they set off in business. I joined the business myself in 1962. 1962, so. I've been with it a fair chunk of time. A few, a few decades. Yes. Yeah. A few yeah. decades' experience. Yeah. Correct. What has changed in the, in the business over that time in your, in your, uh, in your career? I mean, Savile Row has changed, and the number of tailors has changed. What, what are the positive things? What are the negative things? What, well, you, what are the high points you remember of it, your career? It, it, they, they have changed dramatically. Um, I suppose back in the 60s, um, well, first of all, my father was told after the First World War that the trade was dying. Oh, there you go. Well, but, uh, but, it's but, a false alarm. But, 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 uh, and indeed, perhaps you could argue it has been dying. I mean, after all, everybody wore suits um, throughout. I mean, there were no jeans until the 1960s or 1970s. So uh, even when people went to the beach, back in the 1950s, they, they, they'd go fully dressed. Shirt, tie, trousers, maybe a suit. Uh, people just dressed differently. Uh, this whole fleece cloth and a very handsome shade of mid-gray. Can you tell us a little bit about this cloth? Uh, why, why whole fleece? What is it? What is it that... Well, I was particularly interested when I heard that there was still a ranch in Australia which was uh, prepared to shear its sheep and sell the bales without sorting uh, the fleeces uh, into finer micron yarns uh, and less fine micron yarns. In other words, this is the entire fleece graded from, shall we say, uh, super 60s all the way through to super 180s. And, um, uh, and you're getting what was the original Huddersfield uh, so-called Super 70s cloth because that was the finest grade that they uh, actually um, accredited uh, up until about the 1960s. So, so this is a bit of history in the making today um, and is a wonderful cloth with all the character um, and qualities that you would expect of fine worsted. Well, it's got a wonderful hand to it, and I've seen it made into a number of suits, and it uh, drapes beautifully, and, and it's a type of cloth that's going to last an awful long time, and it's very resistant. But it's got all the characteristics. What they're inclined to do today is, is, is to take out all the different parts of uh, the yarn and then sell them for what they are. Um, but you're losing the character of wool in the process, so you can get a lot of very fine flimsy materials of extremely high quality, um, in inverted commas, but it doesn't have the original quality or the handle of worsteds as they used to be made. It's, it's your choice because you, you, you go in undoubtedly buying a bespoke suit thinking this will last me for years. It's your choice how many years you wear it for. It will not let you down. You could wear this for 10 years or 15 years if you so wish. Um, you could discard it after four, but you don't have that choice with, with a great many suits that are made because not only will the cloth not last for long or look good for very long, but the actual manufacture of the suit, the structure inside it or lack of structure, will mean that it will just disintegrate uh, over a relatively short period of time. Well, that's true because they're mainly glued together as opposed to being sewn, and that, uh, that clearly is a, a one factor. The other thing that's important to mention is that cloth like this gets better with age, and we like things that get better with age, not things that wear out. And what you'll find with a quality cloth is it'll develop a patina, like you probably have that favorite chestnut shoe 
you've had for a long, long time and polished, and now it looks better than it used to. Mm. And you like to wear it, and you take special care of it because it's got that nice look to it. Well, a cloth like this will resist to the point that it can take on a patina. Uh, if you decide to keep it 20 years, the last 10 years that you're going to wear the suit will probably be its best years. So make two pairs of trousers always and invest in, uh, in quality. That's a great tip for all of you that are watching this video. I think that's right. David, thank you very much for spending some time with us today. My it's been pleasure. great seeing you. And thank you to all the team here at Smith Woolens okay. uh, for the great products. And we'll look forward to maybe dropping by and seeing you again. Uh, well, you're an, a, a true aficionado, and you're always welcome. <laughs> thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you, Michael. Stay tuned to dresswithstyle.com, where you will learn to dress your life with style. Cheers.